Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double-A Texas League. Today it's the finale of this four-game set between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Corpus Christi Hooks. So digging in now, Yoni Hernandez, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. That accepted. The second baseman, Eliezer. Stepping in now, Eliezer Alvarez. One ball. And it's Great. one and two. Line toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. That is third. The right fielder. Anthony. Into He's the going, box, going, Anthony going. Buck. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and the pitch is a low one, not handled behind the plate, and both runners are going to be saved. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Two two it is swung on and missed strike three. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Andretti Cordero. It's been a four for twelve effort in the series for him coming in. Cordero. Hit hard toward the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. One run is in. Throw comes to second. The throw pulls him off the bag. That is good. The designated hitter. That's one. Vieira. At the plate now, a Swan Vieira. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Now at the plate, Sam Huff, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Here now the 2-2. is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Standing in, Brian De La Cruz. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two-two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two-two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Not your stop. And it's fouled away. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping in, Chucky Robinson. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Stepping up to the plate, J.J. Matajevic. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this will be fouled away. A 
another full count pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Digging in, Julio Pablo Martinez. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Into the box, Ryan Doro. Four hits and 11 tries in the series so far. Ground ball right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Batting up, the left fielder, number five, Eric Jenkins. Into the box now, Eric Jenkins. Called strike, and that'll run it full. attempt that time but they'll say he broke the plane and that's out number two now batting digging in to try it again Yoni Hernandez he reached on a single in his first try throw over to the bag Doro the runner at first with two gone Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Stepping in and ready for another now shot, back. Eliezer Alvarez. Two's all Eliezer. over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. The 1-1. One, one. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Now with the play, Colton Shaver. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. This is line to left. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. To Blake now, Corey Jokes. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. This is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Buck is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Now at the plate, Carmen Benedetti swinging it well in the series so far at a four for ten clip. Benedetti. A ball and two strikes now. Hard up the middle. Scooped up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Now batting, Anthony Buck. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Andretti Cordero. He cashed in with a two run double his first trip to the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. The batter, number 10. Digging in, a Swan Vieira. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And there's ball two now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the right fielder. On the warning track he makes the catch. At the plate Jeremy Pena. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. A one one to one and two now. Now the pitch. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a soft liner to the right side. Foul. Hit the other way out toward right field. Buck is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. In now, Alex McKenna. Two hits and eight tries for the series. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The right fielder, So coming to the plate, Brian De La Cruz. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 1-1. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Slow roller out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Into the box now, Sam Huff looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North to seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Striding into the box, Julio Pablo Martinez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. At the plate, Ryan Doro, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back, the right fielder. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Greg Kessinger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Chucky Robinson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. 
Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even cooked. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Standing in now, J.J. Matajemic. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Riding in once again, Colton Shaver. He singled his last time up. Still only one out in the inning. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Grounded to third. On to first, and there were two down. Ready for another chance? Corey Jolks. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now. To short. Reined in. Throw in time and the side is retired. Now in the box, Eric Jenkins looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Robinson finds it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Digging in the switch hitter, Yoni Hernandez. One for two on his line so far in the game. The one-one home. Line drive to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second now out. The second base Stepping up now, Eliezer Alvarez. He singled and later scored back in the first, making him one for two so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he misses again, ball three. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order too high and that cost him ball four and at first with two out in a two two ball game fastball taken inside for a ball two and one now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back-to-back -back walks now with two away. The first baseman. So striding in, Andretti Cordero. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Carmen Benedetti, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1. One, one. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Jeremy Pena, the number eight hitter here, waits on him. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Now back, second baseman, Jeremy. Pena. So now to the plate, Jeremy Pena lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. 
The throw to third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Standing in, Alex McKenna. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. The 2-1 home. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 2-2. Hit weakly on the ground to short. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Striding in, Brian De La Cruz. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Dean Dietz takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 74. Leading off the inning, a Swan Vieira, and they'll need him to get something going here. Misses two and one. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. him up and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one so striding forward now Julio Pablo Martinez and he's likely just trying to put one in play here 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far he pulls this one into right but uh, this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Stepping in, Ryan Dora. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready with the one and one. off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. That's off the end of the bat foul and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Lofted in the air out toward right center. In there. A base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The left fielder number five, Eric Jenkins. At the plate, Eric Jenkins. Fastball called strike, one and two. Weak grounder down the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. DeMarcus Evans enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. At the plate, Gray Kessinger, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. 
one one home pulls this one in the air out to left Jenkins is there and he'll bring this one in ready to take his hacks again Chucky Robinson as he'll look to follow up the two on Homer he launched over the wall last time up and I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence but that's not his game he's got to get back to what makes him successful put back to baseball and try and drive something right back up the middle into the box now JJ Matajevic he was retired via the ground ball last time up This is hit the other way out toward left field. Jenkins will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Yeah, Ralph Garza is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 72. Ralph. Seventh inning ready to roll. Ready for another shot now. Yoni Hernandez as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left. Ouch, that one hit him. Ready once again, Eliezer Alvarez. Lead-off man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. The 2-1 is a fastball that misses. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Lifted down the line and left. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. So a pivotal moment now here and digging in now. Anthony Buck. Anthony. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in once again, Colton Shaver. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez is right there, one down. Stepping into the box, Corey Jokes. He was a ground out victim last time up. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Here's a look over first, and he just manages to get his hand in. And another throw over, and the runner back. Into the box, Carmen Benedetti. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. At the plate now, Jeremy Pena. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Carlos Sanabria has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 53. Digging in now, Andretti Cordero. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The one-two. And he chased it in the dirt. 
Throw to first is in time. One down. Striding forward now is the D.H. Swan Vieira. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the one and one pitch. Is laid off for ball two. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Quick check on that time run at first, and he'll dive back in. the ground is short could this be two one there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning Edgar Arredondo is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth bottom of the inning now settling in now Alex McKenna no hits to this point And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The one two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The right fielder. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brian De La Cruz. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The one two. That's a ball. Great Kessinger will be next. The 3 2 pitch. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The batter, Into the box now. Great Kessinger. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Throw over to first and the runner back safely. A 2 1 home. Swing and he pops him up. Right fielder coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now batting. The In now, Chucky Robinson. Robinson. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. So here's the cleanup hitter, J.J. Matajevic. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A 1 1. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Willie Cagato takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 31, Willie. Now to the plate, Julio Pablo Martinez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 3 1. In the air, out to right. Right fielder giving chase, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now back the third base, Ryan Dora. So now to the plate, Ryan Dora. Two balls and a strike. Mm, chased a bad ball up out of the zone, two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So a big moment in the ball game here. Eric Jenkins, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. 
This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Full count now. Smoked on the ground left side. And he has delivered on three and two as he comes up big. It's a base hit. Now that is Stepping in now, Yoni Hernandez. Ani pops it up. But this will land untouched. On the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now back. Second base. Eliezer. Standing in now, Eliezer Alvarez. Down the first baseline. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Gabriel Valdez gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Anthony Buck will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Gabriel Valdez. Swing and a little blooper to center. And he delivers with two outs in the ninth. It's a base hit. And that'll score the tying run. We're back to even four apiece. Now batting the first baseman, Andretti. At the plate, Andretti Cordero. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. Throw on to first. And a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. Set for the bottom of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Colton Shaver. He's working on a one for three thus far. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count. Three and two. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Right fielder giving chase. Grounded to short. Right to him. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Digging in and looking for more. Corey Jolks. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. him up. Cordero in foul ground. And he lays out, but he can't make the play. We'll do it again. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Now the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. At the plate now, Carmen Benedetti. Called strike two. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Now fooled him there and a little pop up to the right side. Cordero over to his left. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Digging in, Jeremy Pena. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. The one and one pitch. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Swing and a liner. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Next will be the designated hitter, Aswan Vieira, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. A ball and two strikes.
Count still at one and two. Now here's the pitch. Flipped out the other way toward short. And this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. Now that is. Now with the plate, Sam Huff, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. A ball hit hard to the left side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now that is. Ready now, Julio Pablo Martinez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. The set and the 1-1. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Blake Bass comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. So stepping in, Alex McKenna, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. swing and a fly ball and no one will track it down the one two he swung on and missed he got him on strikes so the batting order turns over now and set to go Brian De La Cruz here now the two two popped up and that's the second out So digging in now, Gray Kessinger. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. A ball and two strikes. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Doro. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. One and two now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one now with the plate now Eric Jenkins he's one for four Eric. for the game Jenkins. ready now with the payoff pitch struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch now out of the game the Standing in, Yoni Hernandez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Line to the right side. Lands in for a base hit, and he's three for five in this one. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Now batter. Second base, Eliezer Alvarez. To the plate now, Eliezer Alvarez. And here's a slider for a cold strike, and he's behind one and two now. And he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Stepping in, Chucky Robinson. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's there and records the first down. Stepping up to the plate, J.J. Matajevic. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Matajevic. 
And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. High in the air out to center field. Martinez is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Into the box. Colton Shaver comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. Corey Jones would be next. Ready on 3-1, the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. In now, Corey Jokes. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Left fielder coming on. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Anthony Buck. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Andretti Cordero, and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. And a full count now, three and two. shot to third and there are two away now digging into try it again a Swan Vieira hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the result sometimes Matty just unlucky with the placement one and two now is that one's fouled off two out nobody on And that misses two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now back. Pepper. Damn. Huff. Into the box now. Sam Huff. Outside, two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, he'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Jimmy Herget will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Now with the play, Carmen Benedetti. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I like it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Drilled right back up the middle. And this is going to get through into center, so there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. The second baseman, Jeremy Pena. 
So now to the plate, Jeremy Pena. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Alvarez will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now at the plate, Alex McKenna has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one and one pitch. One and two now. Now the one and two pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brian De La Cruz. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Tommy DeJunas takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. 13th inning ready to begin. Now batting Julio Pablo Martinez and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. 1 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. The Junas, just 24 years of age, he throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. A 2 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. At the plate, Ryan Dory is looking for his third hit of the ball game here. 3-2 pitch. He's at the knees and called strike three. In now, Eric Jenkins. He went down on strikes last time up. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So coming to the plate, Gray Kessinger. He was a ground out victim last time up. Grounder down the line at third. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. Now batting. The pitcher. Jeffy Robinson. Stepping in now. Chucky Robinson. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Herget is there. And he makes the catch for the out. Digging in. J.J. Matajemic. He flew out in his last at bat. J.J. Matajemic. The one and one pitch. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now that Striding the into the box. Pitch. Colton Shaver. It was a single for him in his last Shaver. at bat. One and one. Here it is. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. This is chopped down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. No, 
back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. Hit hard on the ground at third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Set to begin the 14th inning. Into the box now, Yoni Hernandez. Last time through was a base hit. Set to deliver on two and one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And there's your go ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Now batting the second baseman, Eliezer Alvarez. At the plate now, Eliezer Alvarez. And it's one and two. This is popped up. Kessinger moving to his left. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a big spot here in stepping now, in, Anthony Buck. And he could very Anthony. well get the intentional Buck. pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Hit on the ground to short. Only play will be the first, so they get the out, but credit the RBI as the go-ahead run is in to score. Now batting. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Andretti Cordero, who comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Okay. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. Gene Casanova is going to finally make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. On to the bottom of the 14th. Stepping into the box, Corey Jolts. 1-1. Line to the right side. And this is through into right field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Into the box, Carmen Benedetti. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Jeremy Pena waits on deck. Fouled off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Riding in once again, Jeremy Pena. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for a hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. At the plate, Alex McKenna. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fouled away. Here he comes again. One, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Hernandez ranging into the outfield. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The right field, number At the plate, Brian De La Cruz, oh, yeah. as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series as this one is over. Well, it took about a game and a half to seal this deal, but they took the lead in the top of the 14th and hung on for the road win in the bottom of the 14th. That's a real team builder right there. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Jimmy Herget earns his third win of the year in relief. Gene Casanova earns the save out of the bullpen his ninth of the year.
So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Rough Riders, five runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. For the hook, four runs, 13 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.